Hey ladies and gents, it's Sis Dewis coming to you. Um, it's been a while since my last review. I went on a little vacation from doing reviews after reviewing uh, every single one of the Mythic Legion's Advent of Decay figures, which was over 40 uh, reviews in 40 days straight. Um, but let me show you um, a little of the stuff that I've been um, into or messing around with since then, uh, just to check in. I have gotten a couple of really cool thrones for my Mythic Legions figures. Check this out. This throne I appropriated for uh, my Goblin King Noglin, and I got it from a Spawn figure. I don't know the name of the figure. It was basically Spawn sitting on the throne contemplating um, a skull. Sort of like uh, Hamlet, I guess. To be or not to be. Um, but, hey, I think it fits um, Noglin really, really nicely. He fits on there perfectly. Um, and it's got a lot of cool sculpted details. I wouldn't be surprised if the Four Horsemen sculpted that back in the day. I don't know how old that figure is. Or that, or that particular uh, throne is. And then I have the throne um, that Mephisto was using that's been appropriated by Morgolith. And this is a very popular throne. It's got all the skulls and stuff and all the sculpting. But one that I'm particularly uh, excited about is the one that I gave to King Bromden because I had a little bit more to do with that. It's basically um, that Star Wars... Um, throne um from a figure i got for like uh, 10 bucks the big bad guy uh and i spray painted it gold it's got a lot of techy type elements but you don't notice it once it's all in gold and it just looks like a throne a golden throne um you know carved out with a lot of geometric elements to it and then i glued a little bit of uh, uh a snazzy little bit of jewelry on there and Bromden just looks awesome in it so yeah if you guys are into that sort of thing um let's see what else um, a little bit of craziness wackiness that you won't get anywhere except here um I made me a figure of my favorite Aztec deity uh, which is uh, known as fire shark lizard not a lot of people know about this guy I um, found out about him in a book of Aztec art. And uh, so I was like, what would a fire shark lizard look like? Well, I got Funko's Savage Land King Shark. And I uh, took and changed a few things. I put some fiery elements on his shield. Uh, I gave him a, a wrestler from, I think, a Dragon Steamboat. I think the guy's name was... Steamboat Dragon something something. Um, put that on there to give him a uh, a lizard element. And put this heart, sculpted heart on his chest with another a bit of accent of jewelry there. And I've really been getting into uh, using my wife's old discarded jewelry to, to uh, spritz up my action figures. Let me show you... Um, what I've done in that respect with uh, this figure here. You guys might re uh, recognize her from Black Panther or Michonne from um, Walking Dead. But um, this is uh, my take on the build a figure. Uh, what I did was I didn't want to buy all the figures to make the build a figure, so I just bought a second figure and appropriated her legs. I traded my friend for this wonderfully sculpted Michonne head, and then I took one of my wife's uh, earrings and I just uh, bent it so that she has like real metal jewelry, and I think she came out really nicely. Um, I'm gonna do. I also got another one of my wife's earrings and I bent it and I put it over um, this figure. So I think that looks really cool. And if you guys want to give your uh, female action figures or male action figures some shiny metal ornamentation, hey, you know, go 
get some discount jewelry and and fashion it into stuff. It's it's fun. It's a fun way to be creative with the ho uh, hobby. And it, I mean, some of the junk jewelry isn't worth that much uh, anyway. So um, I also did another fire shark lizard. I don't know how successful this one was, but it's definitely wacky and crazy. I added some Aztec elements to a movie, um, to a movie, uh, lizard, Spider-Man movie lizard figure. And this is what I got. So you might recognize DUCUC's hammerhead, um, piece. So <laughs> this one is more lizardy when it comes to fire shark lizard. And the other one's more sharky. But uh, again, um, I'm having fun trying to spruce up my own figures. Here's a, here's one of my wife's bracelets and another one of my wife's bracelets that she that she gave me. And then another bracelet that I got uh, for free. So yeah, it's kind of wacky using the hammerhead's head for a headdress. But uh, I like I like how it's how it's come out um, and it's definitely weird and wild um, another build a figure that I decided not to buy all the parts for uh, was the one that came with the um, Deadpool wave so I just got the Deadpool figure because I wanted that figure anyway and I took his head and I took his um, this part here the loincloth and I put it on an old spider-man um, lizard uh, action figure. You guys have seen the lizard that I made using the head from the Spider-Man Marvel Legends lizard wave. So now I've got like another um, variation on that and I think it worked out really nicely. It's uh, super duper cool because the build a figure actually reused the torso from this original uh, Walmart exclusive uh, lizard. So it's it's pretty much along the same lines. All right, so one more thing that I decided to share for you with you guys. Um, I got this Treasure X. X marks the spot. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they're on sale right now at Best Buy for $5.99. So I picked one up. And I really, really want to get this Aztec figure um, right here. Because as you guys know, I collect Aztecs. And I really want that one. Problem is, there's 24 of them. So my chances of getting him are 1 in 24. Uh, so fat chance, right? But I decided to try my luck, even though blind box figures are the bane in, of my existence. I've already taken the... Um, this is one of those figure uh, or or uh, play elements where not only do you have a blind box element, but you have to dig through and find the pieces and assemble yours. So you can see all the different uh, ones that I don't want, like the pirate posse and the night crusaders and the scuba scavengers. I just want. Chief Goldo, that's all I want. So we'll see what happens here. Um, you open it up, you take some gold foil out of it, which I've already done, and then um, then you get this little kind of neat digging tool. The packaging is really cool, and I think it's really engaging and probably fun for kids. Like, I don't really want to go through all that problem, but Anyway, anyway, here's what I've done is I've I've soaked I've soaked the contents in water and hopefully that'll make it easier for me to take it apart and find out whether I got Chief Goldo. I'll say a prayer to the um, Aztec gods. Anu what quep desarilias anu quep o o Please let me get Chief Goldo. Oh no, quit this. I see something. I see something. I see. Oops. I don't want to make a mess. Why 
What is it? What is it? Please be chief gold. Oh, it's some... I think that's the treasure chest. I don't know why... Why do you make me work for this moose toys? This is not my idea of a good time. I just want to take the collectible out. <laughs> I think that what that is, is I think that's a treasure chest. So, obviously, if your kids are into... Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, oh my gosh. It's a spear. I guess that part was kind of a little exciting. It's a gold spear. So... Maybe it is an Aztec. Maybe not. I've forgotten what accessories go with what figure. So, all right. Look at that. It's a treasure chest. And then it's like all chained up. And, man, the amount of packaging that they put into this sucker is unbelievable. I'm going to stick the treasure chest there. And then all I want to know is did I get Goldo? Or not. Okay, that's a leg. That's a leg, and I'm already thinking I didn't get Goldo. Oh man, but did I get an Aztec? I did get an Aztec. Okay, it's the lamest one of the Aztecs. I think this is like Dr. Dumbhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the doctor. It's the Aztec doctor. So, you know what? It's not Goldo, but I'll have to say I'm lucky. thanking my lucky stars that I got an Aztec because that was only 3 and 24. This is Dr. Goldspell, okay? Whoever heard of an Aztec um, wearing sunglasses? But... Anyway, it is an Aztec, so I'm happy I got it. I don't think I'll try my luck or buy any more of these because, number one, it's too much work. Um, number two, I mean, I've already gotten one of the Aztecs, um, so why push and try my luck again? But, um, yeah, so a success, a limited success. Um, it's not... You know, I'm not, I didn't knock it out of the park. I didn't get the one. I didn't pull the exact one that I wanted. But I did get an Aztec and I have the little Aztec spear. And so I would give this um, a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Um, would I buy another one? No. Am I glad I bought it? Yeah, I'm glad I got bought it. But only because I got this particular character. Right? Okay, look, there's the body. If I, well, you know what? I, I think I should be a little bit more grateful for the luck that I did have. I'm going to give it a 6 a six out of 10 and, and say, hey, I've got a figure. He's Aztec. Even though the design is a little goofy, um, I should thank my lucky stars. Right? All right. All um, right. I'm going to turn off uh, the phone here with my nose because my hands are a royal, royal mess. It is Dewey signing out.